cosmic shock, baby. To purchase t-shirts and merchandise with my art on it, just click on the eye on the top right hand side of the screen and it will take you right to my shop. So thanks for clicking on the, the video here and watching and uh, continuing to tune in. And I just wanted to share something with you today, you know, a few things anyway. So first things first, you know, this is not a clickbait type video. I didn't make that title to uh, to trick you or anything like that. So just stay tuned. It'll be only a few minutes here. And then I will show you exactly what I did to increase my bench press really fast. Okay. Um, but what anyway, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about is Chris Jones at Physiques of Greatness is going to be profiling some of the smaller YouTube fitness channels. And uh, he's looking for, you know, people to recommend some channels to him. So if you guys could help me out and send him a message and say, hey, could you profile some of Natural Gland Bodybuilding stuff on your uh, page? Uh, that'd be great, you know. Uh, so thanks a lot for supporting my channel, but uh, you know how it is. We're as YouTubers, we're totally dependent on you guys to get us out there, and it's harder than ever actually to get noticed. And no matter how good your content is or what type of information you're giving, uh, it's pretty tough to get something going. So, uh, but thanks a lot for the support anyway. You know, uh, I appreciate all the people that tune in, even though I'm a really small channel. And uh, it's but it's fun to make these videos and to share the knowledge that I do know. And you know, you're always learning something new. And I've been doing this for almost 30 years now and you know, I've went through ups and downs in training, you know, I've had the sports injuries and you know, lost some of the gains that I had, you know, as much as that's disappointing to some people, they're like, oh, how can that happen? Well, you know, when you tear stuff up or you hurt yourself through sports or through car accidents or whatever, you know, sometimes these are the trials and tribulations that come up in life and they will limit your training. But as you'll notice, just you know, the, the set that I did with 225 there, that was around 30 reps I did. And here's 275 and I'll get 13. Now this is the form I always use with bench press. So it's not about whether I got a full rep or, you know, but this is the way I rep. Okay, so those of you that watch my channel regularly will know this. And usually I was getting around eight reps and tonight all of a sudden 13. So how did that happen? You know, that's really the big question. And ultimately it boils down to one thing. And I did a, um, a video about this before. It's called self massage, you know, for training. And it's about, uh, you know, working on the trigger points and the muscles that may be contributing to pain or injuries. So sometimes you may have an injury or something that's going on and it may be just because the muscles are dysfunctionally pulling on the wrong area. And I know a lot of people are doing foam rolling and this type of stuff, but I'll show you what I do. And I've been doing this since 1997 actually 96 more accurately since I first went to a massage therapist for a tearing problem I had in my leg and I was squatting and I was like why is my my quadricep my left quadricep was tearing all the time I said am I injured is there a tear in there or what's going on well it turned out there were a bunch of spasms or knots in my upper back that were called satellite trigger points and they were radiating a, or causing a compensation of other knots all the way down and until I actually released the trigger points up in my neck and in between my shoulder blades the knots in the leg would not release so it was a really eye-opening experience for me because within 15 minutes you know of working with this one massage therapist I had 90% uh, difference all pain relief gone 90% pain gone so this is a little nobbler I use for massage therapy on myself you know I do self massage and stuff so it's not some sort of kinky weird device here <laughs> so, but it's it's something that you basically uh, you know you could actually apply a lot of pressure on a muscle and I don't know where to get this now honestly if I can find a link I'll put it down below uh, but ultimately this is how I use it you know I'll just put it stable somewhere and then I'll find the trigger point now what I did for my shoulder problem you know the, those of you that have been tuning to the channel you know that I had been dealing with a shoulder problem my left shoulder because you know I've got the bicep tear there and everything but what I did was I actually finally found the magic little trigger point in the rhomboid and I you know I've I've worked on it before but I just couldn't find it well anyway so I found this spot and I just basically move it around until I find the exact spot and you'll notice that there'll be a radiation of pain so the pain might not be centralized it'll actually radiate up the spine or lower or outwards toward the shoulder or sometimes you know you'll dig into a trigger point in the back of your spine and you'll feel the pain in the front or in the shoulder or in the neck and these things will totally um, cause a different way or biomechanics of how your shoulder works so if your your shoulder blades can't retract or go forward or not it will take a uh, you know make a big difference in basically how your uh, your bench press will work right so this will definitely affect your groove so I just did this and I found the right spot worked on it for about 20 minutes and instantaneously my bench press went up by you know 20% I guess you could say 
Okay, so anyway, that's that's the secret. That that's one of the things. So it's basically learning some techniques of self massage, and uh, it's kind of like grooming feathers. You know, sometimes there are certain problems that you may have with the body that are actually uh, preventing the proper biomechanics from happening. As you can see right here, when I'm doing the bent over rows, there's a retraction of the shoulder blades. And so it only stands to reason if there's muscle knots in there, there'll be, you know, a problem with the retraction, but that also will affect the bench press. You know, so sometimes, you know, you're doing heavy squats or you're doing deadlifts or you're doing whatever it is you're doing in your bodybuilding or powerlifting program. And then you're noticing that, geez, you know, my bench press is going down. Well, well it's very uh, strong possibility that your back has a knot in it that's uh, preventing the proper uh, movement of, of the bench pressing motion, you know, so re retraction and protraction. So if the protraction is not working, then your bench press is going to be affected and there's going to be pain and there's going to be some sort of dysfunction and, uh, you know, all sorts of things can happen like bursitis or uh, tendonitis and all that sort of thing. So yeah, this is a very magical thing. I've been doing this since, you know, some of you guys have been in diapers, <laughs> you know, so, uh, but it, I was really introduced to it by uh, meeting a few massage therapists and some of them were actually horrible. I mean, I went to some massage therapists and uh, they worked on my spine and uh, and not a not an ounce of relief because they were conserving their fingers and they couldn't get deep enough in the muscle tissue to actually take care of some of those trigger points. Uh, but the minute I went to the right one, uh, there was, you know, like I said, 90 percent relief in one session, you know, and then it uh, totally got better within about a week or two. It was the, the pain was totally gone. It was like I never had an injury, whereas before I thought I was going to have to saw my leg off, you know. <laughs> So anyway, uh, just so you know, this isn't a new fashion statement I'm making with uh, pulling the boxes up around my chest. This is just that my pants got looser because of stretching them out from squatting and uh, now it looks like I'm trying to be a gangster. So this is not on purpose, so forgive me for that. This is not a fashion thing, so don't go trying to be like Jason and run around town pulling your underwear up to your neck or anything like that, okay? <laughs> So anyway, here's a, you know, I'm just doing a couple sets of bicep curl, okay? And you notice I don't straighten my arm on the way down and I'm just pumping reps in there. So, it's, you know, I'm not worried about stopping and pausing at the bottom and totally straightening out the arm. And although you'll see in the next set that I will do this, but this is just a warm up set. I'm just warming up and getting the blood pumping in the bicep. I also have a narrow grip on this one. I just like to do narrow grip with uh, barbell curls now just because I've been doing a lot of wide grip when it comes down to dumbbells and things. You know, I've been, I've been rotating the arms outwards. So I use a barbell as an excuse to go narrow. So you can see that my elbows come a bit forward sometimes, you know. So here I go, my elbows are coming forward when I come up and I'm doing this, the reps slower now. But you can see this is a type of bicep curl it will work a different part of the bicep than if I keep the bicep or the elbows back, sorry. So th that's the thing, there's no right or wrong, I always say this, you know, each one will work different parts and there'll be different uh, different areas you get the burn, you know, so you have to kind of go in what you feel uh, is giving you the most benefit and where you're feeling the bicep the most, where the bicep is actually the one that is fatiguing. Not whether you can get the weight up or not, but it's like, is your bicep the, the dictating factor of why the set stops? And that will give you more bicep gains if that's what you're trying to work, right? So here I am, I'm keeping the elbow back. You see, I'm keeping the elbow back. This is a different type of bicep curl. I talked about it before, it's like the drag curl, but this is the one that I like the most. And yeah, there's a little bit of swing, but I really get the hit that the bicep, it feels like the belly really is what fatigues. I don't get it in the front delt. I don't get fatigue in my forearms. It's all in the bicep. My bicep really gets pumped up from that. So anyway, you know, I know it looks funny, but that's that's just what seems to work. <laughs> so, you know, I, I look funny anyway, even if I walk around. So, I mean, I can't really combat that. But anyway, but thanks for tuning in. And uh, like I said, just uh, let Chris Jones know that uh, you want my channel to be featured on his channel. And that'd be great. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. And we'll see you next time. Now that I've spoken, let me introduce myself. My name's Thunderdog, D-A-W.